in gene editing, you can't transfer a gene, let's say, from a jellyfish to a maize plant. You can only make little edits that would maybe switch from one maize to another maize or, or, or from a cereal to another cereal. So all of these would be possible through classic breeding as well. And I think that's where, so we know that the edits you make are safe and actually that the technology is safe, um, I think has been proven quite extensively so far through scientific research, but of course it's always good to do more, more trials and, and, and more experiments. And um, the difference to GMO is then that in, in GMO, uh, you can transfer genes from one species to another. So that's really, I would say, the big difference. So with gene editing, you, do, you don't do that. You only edit the genome of the plant you're working with. And I would say a lot of the controversial parts, though, are not only the technology itself, and if it's safe or not safe, there's much better experts to talk to than me. But the discussion that often comes out of it as well if you do this and you need to spend a lot of money to make these edits or the GMOs especially, who owns it afterwards, right? And who has to pay for it? And this is something, of course, we don't want to happen with at all with gene editing, that someone has the right to the seed or to something afterwards, right? The technology still needs to be freely available and seed needs to be, able, we need to be able to share seed with a farmer and the farmer needs to be able to share the seed beyond and use it again. So we do not want to create a way that um, this technology can be patterned and used to make to make money for companies, right? It's It's to benefit farmers. So I think this is something that can, of course, happen with any new technology. And that's where we know that actually just uh, very good policies and, and regulations need to be built to avoid that and also to control what kind of edits can be made. So we want edits that, for example, reduce the amount of chemicals. We don't want to make edits that maybe allow us to put more and worse chemicals. So all of this are really complex challenges that can mostly be addressed, though, through um, yeah, conservation conversations with, with policymakers and, and and developing each country has, of course, the freedom to develop their own policies. We just hope that there would be a global consensus on the use of all of these technologies eventually.